would you believe me if I told you that these socks could curl your hair? Most likely you've already seen it on the internet, so the answer is probably yes. Hey guys, it's Greta, and I'm going to show you how to curl your hair with a couple of socks. I'm thinking of making this into a series and doing, say, one sock, two sock, three sock, four sock. Sounds a little Dr. Seuss there, doesn't it? So this one, let's try one sock and see what kind of curls we can come up with. So my hair is freshly washed. It is slightly damp still, and that's exactly the way I want it. I don't want it to be super wet where this is gonna take forever to dry. So I'm gonna leave it damp so that the hair will form into the shape that I'm going to place it into. When it dries, it'll be stuck and locked in that position for a while. If I feel like anything needs to be a little more wet as I go along, I'll use a little bit of a spray bottle just to dampen it with a little bit more water. Let's get right into this and I'll show you how I'm going to curl my hair using one sock only. So I have here a smart wool sock and this is what I'm going to use to curl my hair. Start with one section on each side of your head and cross them over each other in the middle. You can think of this braid like a rope braid, but the sock will be in the center of the twists. Add hair into each section from both the left and the right side. and then cross them around the sock and around each other once more. So that the left side ends up on the right and the right side on the left. Next you'll be bringing them back up, adding more hair, and then up and around the sock and around each other again. This process is followed all the way down until you run out of hair. When you're towards the ends, it's totally fine to round the hair on top of itself. concludes our one sock curling method. This is totally something I am just trying out with you guys. I do think I probably could have hidden the sock a little bit better towards the top because I'm actually going to wear this around today. But totally you can do this uh, at night. I will say from previous things I have done, when you have your hair really wet, it makes the sock wet too, and then it takes even longer to dry. So I wouldn't suggest your hair to be really wet. I'd say towards damp to dry. You could even like dry some of the roots or let it air dry and then kind of spritz some of it down. I did 
spray a little bit more water into my hair before I began, especially on the ends. And you could even go ahead and spray it on now if you felt like some of that was too dry and you don't think it's gonna take to the new shape you're trying to mold it into. I obviously have some face framing that's not gonna fit, but I'm totally fine with that. And if I really feel like curling that later, I can either doing that another heatless way, or if I just use my straightener or a curling iron, I could do that too. But I do personally try and stay away from heat, so I'll probably just leave these straight and I'm totally okay with that. Cross fingers, it works. <laughs> I'll be back later and I'll show you how it turned out for me and I don't have to end my video here so I'll just see you later okay bye okay so I actually wanted to come back really quick and give you a little update because I switched the way I did the end so I pulled the sock down further and unraveled some of the hair and and spun it up around the other hair a little higher up so I had extra room in the sock and then I took the end and I wrapped it up and over the ends because the ends had like kind of gone really messy. So I folded it inside out and up and over the ends of the hair and then put the elastic on the sock. So that way it will keep it neater and cleaner as it's like rubbing on my shoulder and everything. So hopefully that will look better when it comes out. So just a tip for you then if you're gonna do that, make sure the top of the sock is at the top of the head and the end of the sock where you put your foot in is at the bottom. All right, so now it has been quite a while since I just saw you. I think I finished this about one o'clock earlier today and now it is 11.30. So I am going to take this out for you and we'll see how it looks. So I'm going to start taking off the elastic. I'm just letting that come undone. I have never done this before so like I said we'll kind of see how this goes. Okay. All right, this is looking good. I feel a knot in there somewhere. All right, well, to be honest, my hair is actually kind of still damp. This is the finished product. If my hair was completely dry, this would last me quite some time, but because it is damp, I know this is gonna fall back to more um, of a straighter look for me. So I would obviously suggest waiting until your hair is totally dry before you take it out and it'll be great for you. Um, but this is the finished look. I think it's really great. I want to thank you so much for joining me today in this sock curling tutorial and I hope to see you again in my next video. If you're not already subscribed, please do that. Hit the notification bell. That way you won't miss any of my videos. And I've got a lot of fun ones like this. so And a lot of fun ones to come. So make sure you hit that notification bell. So thanks again so much for your support and your love and for being here with me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.